Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. I got a little box, a little cute little box here from Austin. Uh, I did buy something. I have been waiting on something, but this feels really light. So I hope it's in there. Only one way to find out. That's right, mystery box. Everybody loves a mystery box. Unboxing knife today. Tactile, whoa, Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall, the OG in XHP. This is intense. This packaging with the crazy uh, reinforced tape going on. Shit. Oh, damn, dude. Well, damn. I think I know what this is. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. It's so light. Okay. All right. This is a momentous, momentous occasion. Nothing left in there. See ya. Oh boy. It's a hinderer. I've never had one on the channel. I, 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 I voiced my opinion multiple times, but I've never had one. I've never reviewed one. And I, I think it's it was long overdue. So we did buy this on a recent live stream on NAF sale. Shout out to NAF sale. Link in the description. Uh, yeah, it's a hinderer. A uh, little cute little white box. Nothing crazy. 2018 Blade Show Most Innovative American Design. Made in the USA, 35 years of Hinder, Half Track, Magna Cut, Warncliffe, Triway, Working Finish, Red G10. Oh, it's adorable, dude. I didn't know it was this small. Okay, in the box, we have stickers. 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 Uh, a little uh, hand assembled and tuned by Lane. Thanks, Lane. Uh, and we have all the, the good triway goodness going on in there. And some peanut peanuts, my favorite snack. But we're not here for that. We're here for the kniff, baby. Let me get my grubby little hands on a hinderer half track warning. This is one of the only hinderers that I've ever looked at and been like, yeah, yeah, I could do, yeah, you know, I could see myself rocking that. It's way smaller than I thought it was. Uh, it is called the half track. It makes sense. Um, so big, gnar everything about a hinder is insane. So real thick titanium construction. We got a big frame lock going on here. The weird, wild, kind of flathead screw pivot thing going on that I don't understand. Uh, real nice stone wash, hardcore, big flipper tab going on. Love the red G10. Almost burgundy, a little bit maroonish going on. A flicking uh, dimple. We'll see if we can use it. A couple of unnecessary bolts just chilling back here. Nice texturing to that G10. Okay. Very well made. Way lighter than I expected. You know, I've handled a bunch of hinders. They're not small. They're not light. And this is going against everything I know about hinder. So, good start, right? Uh, this has the bearings installed now. So let's do a size comparison real quick so I can show you how small this is. Here's a Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. Not a big knife. It's longer. It's a good bit longer. Maybe a quarter inch longer than the half track here. You know, here's an F5.5. Also, not a big knife. But yeah, it's bigger than the half track. Where's my pair of three? Here is a pair of three. Yeah, quite a bit bigger than the half. The half track's a tiny little pea shooter. I don't read specs when I buy things. I just look at it and I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. Click buy now. That's it. That's all I do. So there you go. All American made goodness. Shall we open it? Decent detent. I'm kind of impressed. And yes, look at that blade. That's why I bought it. This kind of Kiridashi style Warncliffe in Magna Cut. Can't speak to the heat treat. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, but a real nice looking knife. Kind of aggressive and yet dainty. So in hand, Ergos. Yeah, feels nice. Nice texturing on that G10. Nice jimping here on the blade spine. Feels good. Locked in, choked back. Some texturing down here as well. Yeah, dude. Full four-finger grip. Choked back. Big old finger choil and sharpening choil. Choke up. Yeah. A shore. All day. And a pinch grip? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Great pinch grip. All day long with the pinch grip. Feels nice. Feels secure. Okay. You know, I kind of thought I was going to shit roast this knife, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, decent edge on there. We'll see when we get to the cutting test, but uh, very well taken care of. I did buy this second hand on NAF sale. Again, use NAF sale. It's great. I paid $4.75 for this, which is not a bad price considering uh, a lot of hardware. 
And a lot of different hardware, it kind of bothers me. So the weird flathead, but not a flathead on the pivot, flathead on the show side. And then T6, 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 T6. And then the clip screws are Phillips. I need a whole toolbox to take this thing apart, which is kind of annoying to say the least. But action, flipper, D10 is great. Lockup is solid. Oh, solid as a rock. Action on those bearings. Not a guillotine, but it's a tiny, it's not the thickest blade. It's not the biggest knife in the world. But yeah, easy to access that lock bar. Feels good. Nice and snappy. Light switch and push button. Both feel great. Makes a good noise. Uh, can I reverse flick it? Oh, for sure, dude. Somebody told me this was flipper only. You're a chump, whoever you were. It's not flipper only. You can totally flick it. Thumb flick? Oh, nope. Reverse flick all day, though. You gotta get in there. You gotta want it. You gotta earn it. But yeah. Very nice. Well-tuned detent. I, I, but so far, I'm impressed. Uh, acoustics. That makes a good noise. I, can't, I really can't complain about the acoustics. Or the action. Uh, both very well done. Very clicky clacky. Oh, I dig it. Very tactile. Great acoustics. But last thing on the list is cutting performance. Will it cut? Love the blade shape. Uh, Magna Cut USA made there. So nice. The relatively tall flat grind. Would I like to see a hollow? Maybe. But I love this blade shape. This kind of Kiridashi, kind of canted Warncliffe. Very aggressive and yet dainty in some way. So let me get the phone book out. Let's see if she'll cut anything. Let's see. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's fighting me. There's a lot of resistance. Um, again, this is second hand, but it, it it's not that slicey. Uh, it'll cut. It'll cut. But let, I tell you what. Let me uh, let me do something real quick. I don't know that that made a difference. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Whoop. Uh, No, you know, no, it doesn't want to cut. It, it wants to, but it's fighting me. There's a lot of resistance. It's not very thin behind the edge, which is okay. It's kind of a hinderer. I kind of, I just expected it not to cut very well. And that's fine. And that's fine. It looks great. Action's great. It's put together well. And I got a great deal on it. Thanks to nafsale.com. So, you know, again, first impression's not a full review. We will talk about this on live streams. There will be plenty of pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to follow us there. But that is it for me. Subscribe, leave a like down below, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. I got a good deal on it, so don't give me the tomfoolery. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, you bought a hinder? What an idiot. Shut your mouth. It was my money, and I used it. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye now.